Hey everybody, Brett from Stardew's Gaming here, back with part two of our Expeditions Viking Let's Play. So in the previous episode, we had basically taken on the role of our father as Thane, and uh, because our father wasn't the best Thane in the world, there's a lot of people who aren't really happy with uh, us taking over and are looking to maybe possibly claim the title for themselves. And uh, one such man by the name of uh, Adar has challenged us in a drunken rage to a fight outside and so it looks like we're gonna go ahead and deal with him we need to collect our weapons first so let's go ahead and do that and while I'm grabbing this stuff I would just like to remind you guys to hit that like button if you are enjoying the series so far and you'd like to see more expeditions Viking and don't forget to subscribe as well it's the best way to help the channel grow and the best way to uh, the best way to follow along with this series as it plays out so let's get our sword and shield equipped. We do have an old bow as well, but I don't think we'll be needing it. Um, let's see. Increase the strength for three turns. You know what? That seems like a good idea. We'll bring that along as well. Uh, we can bring a secondary, so I guess we'll throw the bow in that slot. Uh, I don't know that we'll be using it, but we'll, uh, we'll bring it along. Okay, so let's get out here. Equipment reminder. Remember to equip your weapons before. Oh, yep, I did remember. Thank you. Look at that big shield. Most of the guests follow you outside and form a half circle behind you. You're dimly aware of the other thanes muttering amongst themselves. Nephew runs over to Kettle to help him back to his feet. A streak of blood runs from his hair down his cheek, but he looks like he can still fight. Four against one. This is what the sons of Erling Thro Thorg? Thorgislin? I, I don't even know where to begin with that. There's so many S's in that word. Or that name, consider a fair fight. Adar's brother tossed his ears. He sounds drunk. Shut your mouth, woman. He started it. Will you be alright, Kettle? It's nothing. Toss it's like a girl. In fact, no. I'm certain Nephia could do far more damage when she was little. You sniveling little shit. Come over here and say that again. Alright, well. If you crave a fight so much, there are proper ways to handle it. He shifts his weight restlessly as he regards the thanes assembled behind you. Too late for second thoughts. When Asleaf is our thane, he can judge the honor in what happens here tonight. He steps forward and draws his weapon. You've gone too far, Adar. There is no honor in this. I must take Avon's side here. Cool, so he's going to jump in with us as well. Looks like we're going to have a 4v4 going down. For a moment, confusion mixes with fright in his eyes, but he quickly composes itself. Fine, we'll kill you all then. I'll be thane. Okay, so right into the combat, and this is my first uh, go with the combat here, so we're going to do our best not to get ourselves killed. Um, let's see, we got two up front wielding an axe and a sword, but no shields, and then uh, another guy back here with an axe, and he's got a bow, so we're going to need to keep an eye on him. Um, I'm going to get Mr. Shield right up on him here. Uh, this is actually the player character, so I don't know why I called him that. But we're going to move him to there, and then... Uh, Automatically attacks the first enemy. No, we just want to outright attack. Let's do that. We'll click here. Stab him a little bit. That's always nice. And that appears to be the end of his turn. So next up, we'll go with Asleaf. And I think we'll block right here. I don't want uh, everybody to overwhelm us on this side. Because we do have Kettle with a bow. And uh, Nephew with a spear. So they're going to be better off sort of in the back line. So we'll move you up to here, and why don't you take a stab there? Ooh, that was pretty much half of his health right there. Okay, Nephia, can you help out with... Oh, that's so close to a kill. Go ahead and help out over here, then. And then finally, we have Kettle. Actually, can you do anything else? No, you guys are all out of, out of actions. Uh, we could finish Adar. We could also... Let's see, 0% chance to hit. Okay, never mind. 0% chance. That's a 95, and that should kill him. I think that's a good idea. So let's do that. Cool, so he's down. That's one less guy to deal with. And then we can move after attacking, so we'll move him to the back line there. And we'll end our turn. This guy's going to move around the side. That looks like it's going to prevent him from shooting. No, apparently not. We did block it, thankfully, so let's see. What are you going to do? Oh, he's a healer. We'll have to uh, start putting some damage on him. 
Let's see. I might want to rush that guy. But I think first things first, let's go deal with the healer. Start doing some damage to him. We'll probably focus fire him since uh I don't know if he can heal, but we'll uh we'll deal with this guy as quickly as we can. Looks like Azlaif might be able to just take him out himself. Okay, if you could move up to here and let's see, stun. Nah, just stab him. So he's at a little less than half health, and then uh Kettle, if you could Damn. He's behind cover. It really doesn't matter where we go with this one. Um, we'll take the shot here. Okay. And why don't you go ahead and just end your turn there. It's going to take a swing at our shield and we'll block it. That one got through. Hopefully this arrow doesn't. Oh, he's moving up close. That's not good. Yikes. Aslaid might go down. Okay, for the player character, let's finish this guy off. And then I think I will move to here. Oh, attack of opportunity, damn it. Well, we still got the move. I, I wanted to get him into melee. I don't know that he can fire his bow now. So that's that should be good for us. Um, meanwhile, why don't you stab him? And Nephia can finish him off. That leaves one last shot for Kettle on the Archer. We should be able to make this one, and then it's just a matter of pretty much ganging up on him. We'll move up a little bit as well. So yeah, he's gonna get drawn into melee, where he'll take a you know a weak swipe at the uh, player character. Um, let's see. I don't really need that. I should have used it, but oh well. Don't need it now. Um, you can just relax. Let's get Nephia to here, and she might be able to finish him. Yeah. Cool. That wasn't too bad at all. Any loot? No. Looks like uh, Kettle has an existing head injury, which, yeah, he got hit with a pot. Um, they both have some armor, of course. Okay, good to know. Odar Erlingsen lies on the frozen earth in a small pool of his own blood. His blank eyes gaze at the sky. His life, the lifeless bodies of his brothers are scattered around the yard in front of your hall. It appears you have ended the life of Erling Thorgislesen. Your guests look on solemnly as the snow in front of your feast hall turns red with the blood of, your, of the farmers. If any of them doubted your resolve before, now they see what you are made of. Hmm... Let's see. Anyone who has a dispute with me can observe our customs and challenge me to a, a duel, but I will not be ambushed at my own feast. Aslif steps forward. He looks not the least bit tired from the fight. I supported you here tonight because Otter and his brothers were out of line. It is not the way of our clan to kill each other in drunken brawls. Avon, son of Grim, I challenge you to a duel for the position of Thane. Oh, great. He's kind of a beast, too. That makes me a bit worried. An excited murmur rises among the guests. Kettle mutters in a voice too low for anyone other than you and Nephia to hear. Can you believe this, son of a bitch? It's his right to issue such a challenge. It's time he could be better, though. Hmm. Let's see. Well, Asleif, son of, son of Grimvard, I accept your challenge. He nods, apparently satisfied. We will meet on Holmgang Island at dawn on the morrow. May the gods favor you. Okay, so he's out of our party. And uh, can we loot these guys? Oh, we can. Nice. I'll take all that. They had medicine and stuff. Nothing there. Cork, valuables, medicine. Sure, why not? And what do we got over here? A torch. Okay, I'll take that too. So, it wants us to go discuss our options with our mother. But before that, um, let's see if our companions have any anything to say. Kettle can't believe it came to this. Nephia, a man that bitter, with sons that stupid. It was just a matter of time. Hmm. We'll have to deal with Erling after the duel tomorrow. He lost all of his sons tonight. He might well be out for vengeance, but he has no way to get it anymore. Well, that's sort of good to know. 
I'll take that stuff too. Can I just loot everything? Well, I mean, I am Thane, so it's like, it's all sort of mine anyways, right? What do we got here? Nothing. Okay. Well, I suppose we'll... Oh, wait. No, we got crates. Caltrops. That might be useful. Nothing doing there. Nothing there. Are these all individually lootable? Oh, my God. I don't know if we can do anything with that. Because those are crafting materials, after all. What is this? Unfinished runestone. Okay. Well, let's go talk to our mother, Astrid. She wraps you in a warm embrace. There's a hint of tears in her eyes. Well fought, my child. Your father would be so proud. Hmm. The clan is at war with itself. Was father really such a poor thing? He was always more a warrior than a leader, but he was no worse than most. This isn't really about him. It's about ambition and greed. Hmm. There'll be another fight tomorrow. Aslaif. I know. Aslaif is a skilled warrior. He would do well to make preparations. I want to face him on equal terms. Don't be ridiculous. This duel could be to the death. There are no rules to break in such a contest. You need every advantage you can get. It may not seem like it right now, but most of our clan remains loyal to us. If nothing else, then because they'd prefer you as Thane over Aslaith. Go to Holda in the bog and ask for her help. She is old and wise, and she has many ways to weaken a man. Hmm. Poison. I want to beat him, not kill him. There is another option. Sigrid may have an idea. She's good at setting traps for the creature, for the creatures of the forest. She may know of a trap large enough for a man. Other than that, Kve, Kvel, Kveldolf? Kveldolf may be willing to get you some better equipment. You shouldn't go into the duel with those old weapons Grim gave you for your training. Okay, well, sounds like we got some options. Um, I, I would definitely want better gear, so where do we find that? Let's see. Can we just click on this and run there? Doesn't appear to be the case, but uh, we'll head to that one first since it's the closest. It's just right around the corner here. Can I bring everybody along? I think they they stay there, so we'll, we'll do this one solo, but uh, I would like to bring our companions with us for the most part. The smith has retreated to the familiar confines of his workshop where he's engaged in an energetic discussion with his wife. They break it up when they see you coming and Daghide, Daghide? Okay. Wanders off to find someone else with whom to gossip. So Erling finally lost control of his idiot sons, did he? Glad to see you made it out of that mess in one piece. Hmm. It's been a long time coming, I suppose. He nods sagely. Erling's feud with your father has been boiling since they were both young. He spent a long time passing that animosity onto his children, the bitter old fool. I wish you hadn't had to kill them, but under the circumstance, I'm not sure how it could have been avoided. Well, Asleif has challenged me to a duel. Anything you could do to help me? I heard. Sorry, my boy, but I'm not getting involved. I've known both of you since you were small children. He even used to help out at the, in the smithy. I won't have either of your blood on my conscience. Hmm. I don't plan to kill him. I just need to beat him to defend my position. The smith crosses his massive arms and shakes his head. Such things rarely go according to plan. In the heat of the moment, with a sword in your hand, I won't be responsible. The decision is final. Okay, so what do we want to do? We could try to outsense him. We could use our, uh, our leadership. Let's let's try to use sense. This is an easy sense check, so I think we should be able to make this. Kveldolf, denying my, denying my request will not keep Asleif safe. It will only put me in danger. We succeeded. Perfect. You calmly lay out your view of the situation, explaining how refusing you, refusing to help you, is an implicit help to Asleif, and how the imbalance in your equipment is more likely to get you killed than protect him. He crosses his arms and squints at you for a long moment, then he releases a sigh. He does have a poor head for tactics, but it will not give you steel to swing against him. However, I can help you to stay safe. Here, let me get you a good sturdy set of quilted armor. It'll serve you better than that shirt you're wearing. The smith disappears into the back of his shop and reemerges with a thick quilted shirt in his hands. He presents it to you with a solemn nod. 
This is the best I can do to aid you. If the fight goes well, you can keep it. Thank you. Aye, you're welcome. Just be careful out there. With that, he seems to decide he's done enough smithing for today, and he starts the nightly ritual of meticulously putting his tools back in their place. Okay, well, we got some armor. That's better than nothing. Let's go ahead and equip that. Uh, it's going to add 12 to our melee damage reduction and 4 to our range damage reduction. Uh, Azleif is using a sword just like we are, so I don't think he's going to be doing too much uh, range damage to us. I will equip those caltrops as well. So there we go. And, oh, it actually changes the appearance on the character too. That's awesome. I love games that do that. It really bothers me when equipment is just basically numbers. It's nice to actually see it represented on the character. Um, even, in the, even in like a top-down game like this where, you know, the characters aren't really the focus necessarily, but it's still a really nice touch. I, I like that a lot. I wonder if I can change the... Uh, oh, did I level up? Oh, I, I think I did? I'm not sure. It looks like I have more uh, skill points, so maybe I should spend them. Let's see, what kind of passives do we have? I, I could be totally wrong here. Let's see. Um, Avenger? I, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm, I'm a little confused. The way this is laid out is a bit odd. Movement. Uh, I don't think we have enough for that one. No, I don't think we have enough. Okay. So... Where to next? I don't want to set traps on anybody. That seems pretty lowly. Poisoning him kind of does too. But, uh... Can we beat this guy straight up? I'm, I'm honestly not sure. I guess there's only one way to find out. But that seems like the honorable thing to do, right? End the feast and get some rest for tomorrow's duel. I wonder, can I save and maybe save scum this? <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going to just do this the honorable way, and if we get our asses completely kicked, then we'll maybe rethink that plan, but I, I would prefer to fight him the honorable way. This is a honorable duel between, you know, fairly amicable people. Like, they're not enemies by any means. They're sort of rivals, but is does his shield spin when he walks? That's kind of funny. But yeah, so they are, you know, they are rivals, but sort of respectful rivals, so we don't want to, um, we don't want to do anything dishonorable. Where do I end the, uh, did I go to the wrong place? Oh, I go into the bed here. Okay. Let's end the feast. You come to the prosaically, I, that's not a word I've seen before. Prosaically named Holmgang Island on the following day, rowing one of the clan's small boats in the company of Nephia and Ketel. Sigrid and Yot greet you there, having come out in advance to set the stakes that define the arena. If he doesn't come, we should fight each other. It'd be ashamed to let such a fine arena go to waste. A, smug's, a smug smirk creeps across Nephia's face. Are you sure you don't want to? You want to fight me again? Remember what happened last time. Right. What I meant is that you and Avon should fight. I'll, I'll sit over beneath that tree and watch while I finish the rest of the mead from last night. Hmm. Let's see. Well, I hope he does forfeit. I don't want to fight a clansman. She twists her face into a displeased grimace. Don't be like that. He challenged your honor. It's your duty to face him in this duel. Your challenger arrives in a short time later. Accompanied by two other young men from his side of the family, the same companions he sat with at your feast. Let's go talk to him. Asleif looks healthy and awake. He gives you a curt but respectful nod and steps directly into the ring without hesitation. His voice is strong and steady. We're all here then? Good. Are you ready? Nephia addresses you but keeps her eyes on Asleif as she speaks. Avon, I volunteer to fight in your place. Uh, no, I'm, I can't let her fight in my place. I mean, our honor's on the line here. I guess, like, I guess if you were playing a very, uh, very high, like, perception and sense type character, where, a, like, a one-on-one -on -one duel is not at all to your advantage, like, if you're 
more about healing or buffs, it would it would make sense to choose her over yourself, obviously. But in this case, I am playing a, a warrior, so I uh, I can't I can't make that decision. So um, your offer humbles me, but this is my fight. I understand. Good luck, Avon. As a challenger in this dispute, it falls on you to recite the rules of the duel. He clears his throat and impatiently recites the clan's traditional rules for single combat. I, Asleif, son of Grimvard, have challenged Avon, son of Grim, for the son for the right to rule. I don't know where I got son there. The winner shall sit as Thane of Skirn and reside in this longhouse. He shall receive no other award beyond this. Should he survive, he who is defeated may swear fealty to the winner, or his life is forfeit. If either of us falls in the duel, their bodies shall be buried here. All weapons are permitted. The duel will end when either warrior is dead or incapable of continuing to fight. He gives a final respectful nod and brandishes his weapon. As the challenged, the first strike is yours to make. Okay. So, uh, this seems like a pretty honorable duel. He seems like a pretty honorable guy. Um, hopefully we can out-damage him here. Let's see what our abilities are. Um... I don't even know if we'll be able to finish this today, because we are running out of time. In fact, we are out of time, so... I think I'm going to break it off right here at the beginning of combat, and we will pick back up the next episode with our epic duel against Asleaf, where uh, the Thanedom is on the line, so... Big, big stakes here. I don't know what happens if you lose. I wonder if it's just, like, game over, or if you reload, or... I, I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some... Expeditions Viking with you guys, and I look forward to seeing you back here for the next episode.